Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a closer look at TextEdit and how you can use it as your main word processor. So a lot of people dismiss the program TextEdit that comes with your Mac as a very simple text editor. They remember programs like Simple Text on the Mac or Notepad on Windows, and indeed TextEdit can do simple text editing. But it's much more powerful than that. And if you don't need a professional word processor like Word or Pages, it may fill all your word processing needs. So when you first start TextEdit, you may get a screen that looks like this, and it doesn't look too much like a complex word processor. Matter of fact, it may look even worse. It may look like this, just plain text. See, TextEdit has two modes. You change between the modes by going to Format, and either make rich text or make plain text. Now, of course, we want to be in the rich text mode to set ourselves up for some real word processing. In addition to that, you also want to go and set up Wrap to Page. Wrap to Page will then create something that looks more like a modern word processor where we actually can see the page boundaries right here. Now, I put some text here just to test out some styling. You notice all the red dotted underlines that are misspelled words since I'm pasting in uh, sample text here. Uh, of course there's lots of words that aren't real English words. But I could select here the title, I could center it, I can make it bold, command B, or just going to format here and I could select fonts, bolds, styles, all sorts of things like that. I can increase the font size. I'm doing that with command and plus. You can also use uh, in here make bigger and smaller. Um, and you can even bring up show fonts here to bring up the default system fonts window and you can have more control there. Then for the rest of the text you can select that and assign a styles to that as well. For instance if you want indentation you can do that just like on a regular word processor. You can also set uh, line spacing for instance single, double, other, bring it up, one and a half spacing. Back in episode 172 I showed you how to do things like creating lists. And indeed you can do that as well. You can have the pull down menu here to create lists like that. You can also create tables as well. So to create tables you go to format and table. And you have a little table creator here. If you want even more advanced style control you can go to font styles bring up this window here and you can add the current style to a list of favorites. You can even do some things like for instance inserting page breaks into your text. You can't do headers and footers but when you print you can select print header and footer which will do a default uh, page number, document title, and date. You can even insert images into your document simply by dragging them from the finder into your document. You can even adjust them a bit uh, with indentations or simply by centering. You could also create links in your document by choosing Edit Add Link and these links will persist when you save your document out as a, say a PDF as something that can be clicked. And that's just scratching the surface of what you can do with some of the formatting and styling inside of TextEdit. So keep in mind it is not the same as Word or Pages which are far more powerful. But for a lot of casual users TextEdit can fill the need for a word processor without having to go and purchase additional software. In addition did you know you can actually open up Microsoft Word doc files using TextEdit. So if your need is simply to open up a document somebody else sent you to read it you should be able to do that in TextEdit without having to go out and purchase Microsoft Office. So if you have the need for some casual word processing before you drop some serious money on Word or Pages or install something really big like OpenOffice, give TextEdit a try and see if it does everything you need. Hope you find this useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.